Hi, in this project, we'll be interfacing an Arduino with a servo motor. So what exactly is a servo motor? This, this thing is a servo motor. It is actually a rotatory actuator, which gives us precise control of its angular position. Now, the servo motor is controlled by something called the pulse width modulation, which means that depending on the width of the pulse that we're sending in, the rotor will turn to the desired position. This white piece here, this is the rotor, which is controlled by a bunch of gears inside. So this is a circuit diagram. Um, since I'm using SC90 servo motor, this is what the wires are like. There are three wires. The brown wire is the ground wire. The red one is the one which goes to the five volts. And the orange one is something called the PWM wire, which goes to the digital pin. This is the code that has been injected into the Arduino. Under the first line right here, we're including the servo library. We can either do that by typing it out manually, or we can go under sketch, include library, and include the servo library right here. Now, using this piece of code, we're initializing our servo motor under the name servo underscore test. And here we're initializing an integer called angle and setting it to zero. Now, under void setup, Using this piece of code right here, we are um, communicating to the Arduino, saying we have attached the PWM or the signal pin of the servo motor to pin two of the Arduino. So under void loop section, we have two for loops, one for the rotation of the servo meter in one particular direction, and the other for the same in the opposite direction. Now, since we have already initialized our angle value to be zero, it is going to jump into the for loop number one. Using this piece of code, we are going to command the rotor of the servo motor to move to the particular angle. And we are going to delay that by 15 milliseconds. And once the code, the once the loop has been completed, the angle is going to increase by one and redo the loop over and over until the angle becomes 180. When the angle becomes 180, we delay it by one second and jump into the second loop. Here, for angle equal to 180, and as long as the angle is greater than one, it is going to keep running this loop and reducing the angle each time by five. Again, here by using this piece of code, we are commanding the rotor to move to the particular angle. We delay that by five milliseconds, and once out of this loop, when the angle is equal to zero, it is going to delay by one second and move back to loop number one. And this is going to keep continuing. This is what the output looks like when we set the for loops to 180. So as you can see from the initial position, it moves to 180 degrees and moves back faster. This is because in the first for loop, we add one every time the loop has been completed. But in the reverse for loop, we subtract 5 every time the loop has been completed. Let's now change the for loops to 90 degrees and look at the output. So this is the output. As you can see, it only moves 90 degrees from the initial position. And it moves in a similar pattern to that of the previous video.